So we're just going to do a quick little video here today. Um, they released the Fulton launching rocket launcher today. And uh, a few new things. So we're just going to go through and try to figure out what new releases they have. I see two showing up with my pistols. So this looks like one right here. They've got a new uh, 9mm pistol. Well, not a new one, but just a, a new version of an existing one. And it looks like it's got a piercing round conversion up. That's some insane penetration coming off of a pistol there. A uh, huge, huge, huge upgrade from the last version of it. So that's pretty nuts right there. Uh, let's see what else we got. Um, oh, looks like we got another version of the uh, AM a 114 RP, the gas pistol, the right pistol, and that just looks like it gives a little more, uh, a little more ammo. So that, uh, that seems about right there. Uh, I don't think we have any new SMGs. Everything here looks about about the same, unless I can't craft it. Of course, uh, the developments might be too high, and uh, if I haven't crafted the one before, it's got one of those question mark boxes, and I can't see it. So, uh, I might get a few things wrong, but I don't see anything else terribly new looking here. Uh, nothing new with the shotguns, I believe. I'm pretty sure that one is is old. I just haven't developed it yet because I don't have the unit levels. Grenade launchers, um, I don't think there's anything new there. Sniper rifles... No, I don't think that's new. Hmm. LMGs. Uh, I think the last thing we had there was the rubber bullet LMG, which is hilarious to use. Uh, rocket launchers. So, obviously here is the new one. Uh, there are three iterations of it. Pretty... Pretty decent costs. Not very, not very e expensive to make. Unit levels are pretty believable. Um, so we're gonna develop that, and we're gonna skip that 23-hour wait. I've got more than enough mother base coins banked up, so I'm just gonna go ahead and push that through, so we can do some testing with it. All right. And it looks like each other version just gives us a little more ammo. And we're going to get that one cooking. We're not going to develop that one right away. Um, I don't feel the need to waste any more Mother Base coins. And we got something new over here. Um, oh, stun decoys. Wait a minute. I don't see any difference. You can't hold any more of them, the damage doesn't go up, the durability is as, is as high as it'll go. Unless it's that effect range up even more. Um, huh. Alright. Those have been there, I believe. And um, I don't think there's anything new here either. I don't think there are any new arms. And let's check, see if they've maybe introduced a new battle dress. Nope. Everything's the same as it was, uh, grade 10 being the highest right now. Well, alrighty. Uh, I think that's everything new added. Oh, let's check the security devices just to make sure. And, um, no, I don't believe so. Mm, this is all looking pretty, pretty standard. So I think that's it. All right, so we're on the ground here. Like I said, we're going to do a little bit of testing. Uh, there we go. We're going to see if we can fault in this here truck. And no, the truck is still there. So that is a negative on the truck. Huh. Well, off in the distance, we have ourselves some armored units and some guys. And we're going to see if it can fold in the armored units or the, the, the guys. 
So there we go. There's one of the uh, armored units off in the distance. Let's go ahead and take aim here. And nothing. Same as the truck. Except they all very much know I'm here now. So there's a good clump of, of uh, dudes over there. We're going to try and see if uh, we can test this out on them. Let's go ahead and let her rip. Okay, so... There's one. It got one of them, and the rest are just kind of choking on it, so... Huh. Let's try that again before they figure anything else out. Um... Oh, got spotted by a sniper. That's not good. Huh. It only got one. Okay. So, uh... Alright, let's... We're gonna, we're gonna switch locations and try this again here. Alright, so we got another area this time with uh, some guys in it. And a couple of shipping containers. Some placed guns. And, uh... We're gonna give this another go here. We're gonna see if it can grab anything else aside from guys. Alright, line her up. And nothing. So, no shipping containers. Alright, so final round of testing here. Um, I've taken the liberty of knocking all these guys out and as you can just see, we tried that, uh, we tried that emplaced gun there and, uh, nothing. Why don't we try some animals? Uh, we got a few of those in the neighborhood. I think I scared them all away with that rocket launcher blast, though. That one looks pretty, pretty steady. Let's see if we can get him. Alright, that appears to be on target. And nothing. Wow. How useless. Uh, Alright, one more just uh, to make sure that wasn't a fluke. We're going to get really close with this one. We're going to get right up close. I don't want there to be any doubt on this shot. Nothing. Jeez. Alright, uh, the only other thing I could think of maybe attempting is I want to see if I can get a bunch of guys really bunched up and see if it can actually Fulton more than one of them at a time. So we're going to kind of stack them all together. And, uh... Oh, we got uh, some dudes sneaking up on us here in a truck. Let's just let them pass. Alright, they're not going to be a problem. Okay, so I think four should be enough for testing purposes. We're going to get them uh, lined up, or not lined up, but sort of all together now. Move him in a little bit closer. And let's take a vantage point up here a little bit higher. Uh, last round, you know, gotta make it count. And... Oh, look at that! I got three of them! Huh, alright. So, if they are extremely close, you can get multiple guys at once. Alrighty. So that concludes my first round of testing the new Fulton-based uh, Falkensberg rocket launcher. And I've gotta say, I'm really not terribly impressed with it. Um, it just, it seems like its uses are incredibly limited. You can only capture soldiers with it. Uh, no vehicles, no containers, no animals, no, no placed guns even. That's, that's pretty pathetic in my book. Um, I don't think it's going to replace the Fulton catapult that D Walker has anytime soon. That just seems superior in every way to me. The only th scenario I can see this being particularly useful in uh, would maybe be for something like 
a line of sight with a very, very, very far away target. Um, because it does seem to have a pretty good travel distance where it stays rather on target. But even then, I can only imagine that being useful in uh, a handful of scenarios. I think I can count on one hand the amount of time that would be useful. Um, I do definitely maybe want to see about testing it on the skulls later. Uh, see if that impacts them at all. And maybe a little more testing, and I'll definitely report back if uh, if I find anything major. But I really don't think I am. So, if you can develop it, and you want to just mess around with it, sure, go ahead. But this isn't something I would recommend that you go out of your way right now. you got to have it to develop it. It's not really a game changer. Um, I don't know, maybe, maybe it'll have some more use in... PvP, but I really don't do any of the uh, PvP, the FOB rating, so I really can't comment. So I think we're just going to leave it at, as far as the single player campaign goes, mostly useless. Uh, don't don't kill yourself to get it. So I, uh, I hope this analysis was helpful, and uh, I'll have the FOB video up probably a little bit later today. And until I see you next time, thanks for watching. Uh, leave a like and a subscribe if you haven't already. And have a good one.